Welcome to this CAD Masters tutorial on the creation of simple in-place mass elements in Revit. The first thing I want to do towards creating my mass is to create a few levels. Um, you can see here I've got three levels and they're separated each by 20 feet. To actually begin the in-place mass, I'll go to the Massing and Site tab of my ribbon and choose the In-Place Mass button. It'll bring up a naming box where I name the mass I'm about to create. And now I can just go into floor plans and I can draw cross sections at each level um, and then those can be connected up to create a mass. So let me do that by going to level one. For the sake of time I'm going to create a few uh, different cross sections and show you what I mean. So what I've done here is I've just created two circles on two different levels. Um, I haven't created a mass out of them yet. Within my mass definition I'm actually going to create a form here and then in a minute I'll show you how I created these two circles. We'll create another form and we'll join them together. So to create a form out of these two circles, I'll just select both and click Create Form. And there you can see it's created a solid form for me out of those two circles. Now to create another little form, what I'll do is I'll go to my level one floor plan and I'll create a rectangle. Now you'll notice that it doesn't show up and that's because I just created this rectangle on a placement plane that's level 2. You see that up here. Um, I need to create one on level 1. So to be able to see both, I'm going to switch to my site floor plan. Remember that orange rectangle is on level 2, so I'll create another one on level 1. Similarly shaped. Now it looks like I created that second rectangle on level 2 also. So what I can do is I can just select that rectangle, change the host to level 1. Now if I switch back to my 3D view, see that I've got two rectangles at two different levels. And I'm going to create another um, form out of those by selecting both. And I'll say create form again. So now I actually have two separate solid forms within my mass definition. I want to go ahead and join those two together. So to do that, I'll click on this Join button on the Modify Ribbon tab. Choose one of my shapes and then the other. You can see they kind of join up together to make one solid shape. Finally, I'll just click Finish Mass. And that'll take me back to the regular Revit drawing area. And now that I have this in-place mass, I can go to the Massing and Sight tab and I can actually create walls, roofs, um, and curtain systems out of faces of this in-place mass I just created. So why don't we try that out a little bit. I'll click on Wall by Face, and then I'll just choose some of the faces that I created when I created my mass. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to the Massing and Sight tab. There's a button here, Show Mass, and right now it's highlighted, so if I untoggle that, I can no longer see the mass in my drawing. Um, and now I can change my visual style to something like shaded with edges. And I can see these walls that I created uh, based off of my, ass, my mass object. So now if I go back into this mass, if I want to, um, let me turn back on the mass display. I can select that mass. And once I have that mass selected, um, I can actually just go back in and I can edit it in place again. And that'll allow me to change um, how my mass is created. I'll just take one of these rectangles. Or rather one of these lines. And I'll just change uh, the kind of the definition of this object. You can see I've actually changed the shape of my mass object a little bit. And if I click Finish Mass, it'll take me back to my regular drawing area. Um, but you can see my walls don't automatically update to, this, to the faces of this mass object. But what I can do is I can select the wall that should be updating. And I can say Update to Face. And after doing that, my walls will then update to the faces of the mass that I have adjusted. 
Now I can also use ma these masses to create curtain systems um, and roofs. So if I added a, a shape to the top of my mass, I could create a, a roof or even a, a curtain system if I wanted to. Now this is obviously just a real simple mass, a simple in-place mass. You can also create family-based masses, but this should give you a good start. I hope it helps. Um, thank you for looking at this CAD Masters video, and please look at our others to see if there's anything else that can help you out.